In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an example layout for a course template. We'll get started by going over here to templates and theme builder. We'll click add new and we want a single post type and we want the course post type and we'll name it course template and create template. So for a title for our courses, we're going to need it to be dynamic because all of our courses have different titles. So we need to tell Elementor where to find the course title. So you can use the normal heading widget with a dynamic tag, as I explained in the overview video, or you can just use the post title. And I'm just going to do that because it's a little easier. And we'll change the color to match our site. So for the actual content of the page, I'm going to think ahead and create a sidebar that will contain the course meta and a little bit of the user interface. So we can go back to our widgets. And I'm going to collapse all these just so we don't have to scroll down every time we want to go back and add a lifter LMS widget. So I'm going to start adding some of the course meta like the course author in the sidebar. And you can see it pulls me in automatically. And we have some settings here for the layout if we want it to look a little different. And we can go to the style as well and change some of the text and the color. I'll leave that alone for now and leave that up to you to mess with. Go back to our widgets. And I'm actually going to go back here to the general section to grab an icon box. This is how we're going to be displaying some of the course meta. So for example, I want to display the amount of time it's going to take to complete the course. So we'll look up a clock icon and we'll title it length. And we want this content section here to be dynamic based on which course you're viewing because each course is going to be a different length. So we can click the dynamic tag button here. And if you scroll down, there's a section for course and there's a thing that says course info and click that. And if you click the little wrench right now, it's displaying the start date, but we want it to display under field, the length of the course. And you can see right there, it's already pulling in the length for this course. Now let's go back and add another one. So let's choose an icon. Uh, maybe we can use a scale. And we'll name it difficulty. And we want this content to be a dynamic as well. So we'll click the dynamic tag button. And instead of clicking course info, we'll just go up here and click course difficulty. And let's style these to match our theme. And let's go back over here to our widgets and go back to the lifter LMS section. And this first one right here, course access plans is what's going to show your course access plans that you set up inside of lifter LMS. So we can drag that down here and you can see, I only have one set up right now. So it's kind of pointless to have this as a slider. So we can just turn that off in slider options where it says autoplay and we'll select no. And you can actually go down here to structure and drag and drop certain items like you can in the course list widget. Because this widget is a little bit more complex, we're going to be covering this in another video. So for now, we'll just leave it as it is. So let's go back to our widgets and we're probably going to want our course video. So let's drag that on there. And we have some options over here, like the dimensions of the video and enabling autoplay or not. We're also probably going to want the syllabus for our course. So if you scroll down, there is a course syllabus widget and we'll drag that right below the video and it will give a list of all of our lessons inside of the course. Then let's go back and maybe add some more course meta below. There's this course meta widget right here, which pulls information from lifter LMS and you can turn on and off which ones you want to display. So we'll just turn off the estimated time and difficulty because we have those shown up here. Finally, we're going to want a course continue button so that our users can pick up where they left off. So we'll just drag that over here right above the access plans. And this gets treated just like any other button inside Elementor. So we'll just say continue. Maybe add a little arrow. And we'll put it after. And I want this button to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to say large and then center align it. And of course, you can style all these things to your liking to match your theme. So now that we're done with our template, let's go down here next to publish, click save options, display conditions. And you can see that it's auto filled because we already told it in the beginning which kind of template we were creating 
And if you'd like, you can further filter which courses you'd like to display it on, like a certain course category and stuff like that. So we'll just click save and close. And let's go have a look. Great, we can see it's displaying just how we set it up. And you can see that this continue course button that we just added is not showing up. And this is because I'm not enrolled in the course and I haven't even started it. But if we go over here to the course catalog and we go to the one I am enrolled in, then you can see the continue button pops up.